Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a, a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and uh, Libra Rising weekly tarot reading, September 2nd to September 8th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we're going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of Libra for the week, that is going to be the Ace of Cups, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that Libra needs to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the um, Justice card. Then what we do have here, it is the Queen of Cups which stands for the positive aspect of the week for Libra, and then the final card here is going to be the guidance that Tarot is offering, that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. So uh, with these four cards, the very first impression that uh, they make at least to me is that it's the good thing, or rather like the good things comes the hard way, okay? So there will be a um, either a good opportunity, a good feeling, you know, or in generally a, um, a, a joyful and exhilarating enterprise that you, however, should not give up from, okay? It, it, it will not go without any predicaments or plights, you know, and it will have its, its, its rough time or its ups and downs, and you need to endure those things so you can, you know, utilize and capitalize on it. But before we go into all that and see how this is going to play out, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the Ace of Cups, which stands for the... Um, <clears throat> topic of the week, followed by the next one, which is the uh, challenges of the uh, justice. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect, the Queen of Cups. And then the last one here is going to be the Eight of Pentacles, which stands for the guidance. For the guidance. Okay. All right. So um, the Ace of Cups. Well, the Ace of Cups is this. Uh, every Ace does represent um, in its core a new beginning but when we talk about the ace of cups usually represents these um i would say surprising circumstances all right or circumstances that are coming around which are making um our worries a little bit irrelevant it is because it gives us a a new agenda a new goal or a new endeavor for us to look forward to no different than for example if let's say your job is on the rock you know that could be a promise for some sort of a side job, some sort of a, a, a side business that you can start, right? That will make your worry over your current job irrelevant because even though you may be fired or the, the, the company may close doors, you will have a private business or a private endeavor that is going to sustain you throughout the financial um the financial struggle or, or if you are on the rock with your relationship that could be the appearance of new person that you instantly have chemistry with and although your relationship may end up you know uh, you still have someone to start dates you know and to to exhilarate yourself with and etc etc so this is a uh, kind of like a new circumstances once again that are giving you more like a, a foundation and security 
and if you cling into them you know that will as well transcend your daily reality uh the accompanied card here is going to be the um page of swords the formation it is a passive neutrals that we do have so with the page of swords it's a bit of a awkward combo that we do uh observe here in between in between these two cards it kind of like it does point that you can look the other way okay that's it does not really fit with your logical standards i would say so it's something that is going to surprise you that you are interested in it is this is what these um these two cards are saying and probably this is why the whole reading gives impression that is going to have its ups and downs and you have to clinch and stick into it without giving up of this uh, of this new circumstances or this new agenda right or an endeavor or, or an enterprise uh, and only then you know it's going to manifest in a way that you're going to find yourself quite emotionally satisfied now the uh, challenging card is going to be the justice so the justice here uh, shows us as a challenging card is that you will have to a little bit you know disrupt your life in order to take full advantage of uh, this uh, of the ace of cups circumstances that i talked a, a few seconds ago in a sense of that is the, the, the these the, this new opportunity or this new circumstances is not going to exactly fit with your plan therefore there should be some rearrangements that you need to do and that is going to be the rough part, part of all of it okay the accompanied card here is going to be the nine of uh, cups the formation it is a active neutrals that we do have and it is another testament that the very initial stage the very initial part will involve some i don't want to say rough decisions okay but it's the, you will have to just how do you say it in english um it's not get over something it's more like get done with particular things and and just leave them behind you okay so that thing will involve you um sorting out a matters and problems that you may would like to postpone or never deal with okay but the whole thing will require you not having them as a presence not having them as an influence and for that reason you know you will have to a little bit get your hands dirty throughout the week figuratively speaking though um if i have to give you an, an example you know that well if we're talking about the um the relationship status you know your relationship is on the road but you meet someone that you like and that gives you a security you need to display that person into your social circle which could be a little bit awkward because you're still in the relationship you know so you gotta get your hands a little bit uh dirty other way uh, other way around most likely that person is not going to be uh willing to, to spend time with you or to talk with you unless you don't make your connection because it's not yet relationship all right a public now you need to know that the ace of cups gives you the opportunity gives you the circumstances but what you're going to do from those circumstances and those opportunity is entirely up to you ace of cups does not grant you emotional satisfaction does not grant you love it gives you the opportunity to achieve those things okay and now here we are discussing the conditions that you gotta do it now if you don't have the courage to do what is necessary here rearranging your routine re rearranging your um your life and making the tough calls then you're simply gonna miss it it's it's as simple as that so the next one uh it will be in regards to the positive aspect and that will be a person here we do have the queen of cups it does look like more like a motherhood figurine into your life it doesn't have to be your mother but definitely it will be a person who deeply cares for your well-being uh this person very well understands your plight what plights excuse me what you're going through and that person as well is very clear, keen into uh privacy so you can definitely divulge anything to them that you're going through and that you're finding it difficult to share with the rest of the world additionally to that the queen of cups will encourage you to follow the feelings of your heart uh not the emotions once again uh we talked about a um what is the difference in between feelings and emotions 
you may have an emotion of love towards someone, but if that person makes you feel bad, you know, then it's obviously feeling bad is not something that you have to go for, okay? So that person will encourage you to follow, <coughs> excuse me, the feelings of your heart. That will be the positive aspect. The accompanied card here is going to be the sun, the formation. It is a passive enemies that we do have. And uh, I, it's, it's another confirmation that the good things come the hard way, at least for you throughout this week, you know, and you can't expect that the, the road to success is going to be covered with red carpets and roses. The road to success, it's, it goes through mountains, you know, to pers through, through a, a precipitous slopes. And uh, for that reason, you got to fight for, for what you want or you got to fight for what makes you happy. It's as simple as that. <clears throat> okay, so uh, yeah, well, basically with these two cards, you know, that person is going to uh, encourage you <clears throat> to push into this direction that you find it difficult to. It is because this is the only direction that matters. And the last card, it's uh, the Eight of Pentacles, which is the Guidance. So a very broad one, it is what we do have here. Pretty much the Eight of Pentacles urges you to attend to your activities with a huge portion of conscientiousness. If you don't have it, then you don't have, to, then you should not perform into that activity. So for example, if you are not devoted to your relationship, but you are into your relationship just for the sake of being in a relationship, there is, then there is no point being in a relationship. Same thing goes to uh, like same thing. Same thing um, goes regards to career and work. Simply here, the Eight of Pentacles tells us that if you don't enjoy what you are doing, if you don't do what you want to do the way you want to do it, there is no point doing it. Okay. And another thing that the Eight of Pentacles here divulges to us is that throughout this week you will have a chance to start initiating a, a long-term developed plan. I don't know, you may have planned to open your business, you may have planned to start uh, dating for a long time after you have been uh, with a broken heart beforehand, you know, and so on and so forth. So whatever you have trying to convince yourself that you got to do, all right, and it took a long time to kind of like collect the courage for it, well, this is going to be the week where most likely you will have the chance to, to start doing it. The accompanied card here is going to be the temperance, the formation. It is a uh, passive neutrals that we do have. And it, it will seem more easier than you have anticipated with these two cards. The chores that you probably uh, assumed that you have to deal with when you start initiating that plan or... Uh, that is a little bit more difficult to explain the chores that you may have in, um, presumed you will have by making what you want to make the way you want to make it, all right, are going to be actually far um, little and far small than, uh, than the original anticipation. So it's not going to be as hard as you think it is. It's just how hard it is. It is the um, the initial impression because you haven't tried it yet. Thankfully, you don't have that person that is going to encourage you. And uh, I think that at the end of the day, you will find yourself in a happy place. So that being said, Libra, this was your weekly tarot reading, September 2nd to September 8th. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then. Bye.